Hi, everybody. We're going to have a very serious conversation. <laughs> serious. With Jane Clapp. Jane has a company called Urban Fit, and she does the most fascinating, should I use the word therapy? Um, Fitness therapy? I use movement as medicine, basically. Perfect. I help people access the intelligence of their bodies to modify their minds. To modify their minds, because we get like monkey brain. Yeah, and we've, we've traditionally put so much value on intellect and mind first yeah. and body second, but there is no hierarchy of mind first, body second, or body first, mind second. But what happens is when people face a stressor or a trauma and they get to a place where they don't feel like they have the resources to cope well with it, what ends up happening is we go into unhealthy coping mechanisms and that's how things start imprinting on our bodies and in particular on our autonomic nervous system, our fight, flight, Okay. Um, rest, digest, or sometimes we go into something called freeze, where we feel okay. frozen yep. and immobilized and unable to really act on whatever is facing us. We're like a deer with in the headlights. Caught in the headlights. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Are you going to use your mind to get yourself unstuck when right. the mind is actually part of the problem? Right. Or are you going to access the intelligence, innate intelligence of our bodies yes. to help us move through a threat like yes. an animal would in nature? I love that. And I think very often we are we're very disconnected in this day and age from our bodies, right? I call it the crisis of disembodiment. The increase in anxiety and depression in our like developed modern society yep. could be directly correlated with lack of movement in our lives. Mm -hmm. You're not about stress factor in motion. No, nope. stress is fine. Actually, we have this idea that stress is a bad thing, but the problem is is that we get out of that window of being able to cope well with stress. So there's you stress, which is adaptable stress, and there's mal stress, which we can adapt to. So what I do with people is I gradually teach them to stress their body in a way that stays very adaptable. Right. I teach them how to use a stressor on the body as a tool for increasing resilience. Uh -huh. So stress isn't bad, it's just the stress where we dissociate from ourselves that's a problem and a lot of um, fitness regimes and approach to fitness really requires us sort of cutting ourselves off from our body to get through it because it really is not very pleasurable right? and it's not playful. Right. Right? Yes, we've forgotten how to be playful. Yeah. When you look at children, all they do all day long is play yeah. and their bodies are constantly in motion. Yeah. So we need to take a page out of their book. Absolutely. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story about the trauma that got stuck in my body and then Jane is going to give us some demonstrations for some common things that you see in people, right? Yep. Okay. So this is what happened to me a number of years ago. I was in a relationship where um, this person, who I will not mention, <laughs> <laughs> was a gambler and I found out overnight that we were a hundred and eighty thousand dollars in debt can you even hear it in my voice as I'm talking I can it's, feel it's, it in my throat and it was 15 years ago mm -hmm. 15 years ago and my body responds look at you're getting more adrenaline and cortisol yes. just thinking about it I do I, f I feel my throat start to close I feel my voice is starting to crack over it mm -hmm because the stress of that information coming at me, I froze, right. you know, I was paralyzed. And I think I moved through the next six months of my life in a state of complete disconnection. You know, I would be breaking down all the time and then I would just have to zone out. I had of no coping mechanisms for that. Actually, that was a coping mechanism. You hit extreme levels of stress. Right. And for you to not actually completely fall apart, you had to dissociate from right. those feelings for periods of time yes. to not get completely overwhelmed. Right. That's the intelligence of our bodies keeping us safe. That's amazing. So part of moving past those things that have happened in our lives means understanding that our body did the very smartest and best thing it, it could in that moment. Wow. That dissociation is an in, innate, very primal response to right. what could have been a completely a, an event that destroyed you. I felt as though it did destroy me. It, but it, it didn't. Look it, at you're standing. You're sitting here right now. 
if give me more say, of that. But what <laughs> I would say, if I had a client come in and we were doing some body work together and moving, I would say, right. okay, so you feel it here. Yeah. And I'd say, put your hand here. And you're like, okay, there. And look what just happened. Yes. What that happened? Was magical. I just took a deep breath without thinking right. about it. Because you're sort of healing that part of yourself back then that needs to be acknowledged and right. forgiven for how you feel like you didn't behave well oh, or at your best. People, this is so good. But you're yeah. using the intelligence of your body to do that. You're using physical touch to offer right. yourself a moment of compassion. Oh my God. Do you want to see some real tears on camera any second? <laughs> right? So you have to be this like, I did the best thing I could in that moment, and you know what? It was the way I needed to survive. This but is awesome. thank you, body, for doing what you did. I don't need to go into that free state anymore because I'm okay right now. Can you see that? I have misty eyes. That's how <laughs> powerful. That's how powerful that was. That's amazing. Yeah. So for other people who have experienced, let's say, the trauma of a divorce or a death or even even a car accident or cancer or cancer, any type of chronic right. illness yeah it, it can impact the body like what we want to do is we have these coping me mechanisms that keep us safe and help us survive in the moment but the tricky part is our body can't let go of those co coping mechanisms when we stay in that state for a long time right so um, the trick is to getting reconnected to our body but not getting so overwhelmed by the yes. information we get from our body that we have to tune out again Got it. How did, well, how did it take this long for you to come into my life and give me this information? <laughs> so you know what? Now what I'd really like to do is um, we'll get you into some uh, workout gear and you can show us exactly what you mean. Awesome. And we can do some stuff. Are you ready to do some stuff? And when you've done some stuff with us in some other videos, you can talk to Jane because I think we all need a little bit of Jane in our lives. <laughs>